Well, hello guys. I would like to talk to you a little bit about this new backpack I got from my friends at banggood.com. Thank you guys. It's an amazing backpack. I'm trying it out right now for the first time and I have to say it's really comfortable. It's a 45 liter backpack. Now, even though I'm going out on a short hike, I'm carrying everything I would need for an overnighter. It looks small, but it can actually fit a lot of stuff. First off, from the front, it's got nice cushiony shoulder pads, shoulder straps, really very well padded. The sternum strap has a whistle, pretty loud, a really good sternum strap, it's adjustable, you can take it down if you want to, higher, here's the lower position of the sternum strap, obviously you can adjust it right here. So, it has a hip belt, a nice thick hip belt with a thick heavy duty buckle, it has side pockets right here, right on the hip belt. I'm carrying my keys right now, you can carry your GPS, some snacks, uh, maybe your headlamp, whatever you need on the trail while you're walking. So these are really convenient, it has two of them, one, of each, one on each side. Back panel here. Has a mesh. I don't know if you can see this, but I can put my hand through. It has a mesh that lets air circulate on your back. So if you're a sweaty, sweaty guy like I am, this is a major, major improvement on a well, back. Look at the the hip belt. Look how thick and padded it is. So far, really comfortable. It has a D-ring here if you want to attach something like a, maybe a water bottle. It has adjustments here to take the top of your pack closer to your body. It pull this tight. Once you have your hip belt and your sternum strap all set up, you go ahead and pull this so that the weight of the pack goes closer to your back, which gives you more stability and more comfort, comfort while you're hiking. Another cool feature here is at the bottom you have a pocket stores a rain cover really convenient for places where you get a lot of rain maybe not the desert like the desert I'm in right now but you get the eventual downpour so you go you can go ahead and cover your pack have your contents safe secure and dry on the inside really cool features here the way tuck it in real quick Nice and simple. Right here we have a, an outside pocket. I'm just carrying an extra battery for my phone. An extra pocket here. Not too big, but for that little stuff that you need right, on, right at hand. You have buckles everywhere to adjust your weight. Your contents. To adjust your contents. You have the water bottle pockets, mesh pockets right here. On the other side here I have my Backle Laplander, so really convenient having these mesh pockets on the side. You have a top pocket for small stuff, I have my tent pegs, I have my buffs, I have my Sawyer water filter, really nice top pocket here for your, your small stuff that you need to have right at hand. On the main pouch, I have my first aid kit, have some food, tortillas and a stainless steel Tupperware kind of thing. I have my survival kit, have my pillow that has my sweatshirt inside. This is my pillow case which I stuff with a uh, clothing when I go to sleep have my possible bag, here I have a flashlight, headlamp, flashlight, some cordage, have a hat for cold at night, have a rain jacket, I have my mess kit, cooking kit, with some food inside, I'll show you that in just a minute, in another video I'm gonna make a review of this stuff. 
also courtesy of banggood.com. I'm going to leave the links in the description below the video if you want to check all this gear out. I have a camp chair, believe it or not. I've made a video on it if you want to go check it out. I have my tarp. I have my inflatable mattress. I have my sleeping bag BB cover. I have my Tyvek brown sheet. I have my down sleeping bag. I have my folding stainless steel wood burning stove. And I think that's it. So as I said before, a lot of stuff that you can fit right here. That's all the gear I take when I go camping. Maybe more food and water if I go for longer, but that's basically my kit. Okay, so here's a close-up of the pack. You can see the fabric here. It's nylon. Kind of looks like ripped up nylon, I'm not sure. This is the main, this is the outside pocket. You have the lower pocket right here. You just unzip that and it goes op open. You got your mesh pockets on the side for water bottles. Whatever else you need while you're hiking. You have uh, adjustment straps everywhere. You have two on the sides and two at the bottom. You can hang your sleeping bag or your foam pad, sleeping mat, if you have one right here. Really convenient, good to have. You have these bungee cord attachments here. If you're carrying an ice axe or if you want to put your trekking poles right here, you can do that. This is the back mesh that I was talking about. Really comfortable. You can really feel the air flowing on your back. Nice padded, nice padded waist belt. These are the side pockets. Really roomy. You can fit a GPS, a cell phone, maybe some snacks, first aid kit, headlamp, all stuff, all that kind of stuff. The main po pocket here, this is your main pocket here, has a, a flap. It's not hydration compatible. I don't see a hole here for your I don't see a hole here for your water bladder. But I'm not a real fan of those, so I don't care. Has another inside pocket here for some stuff, small stuff that you don't want going all the way to the bottom of your pack. It's really really roomy. You saw all the stuff that I can fit in there. Amazing really roomy and this is the outside another outside top pocket you know for your miscellaneous stuff small things that you want right at hand you can put them right there so basically that's it guys nice lightweight comfortable nice pack color. we have black you have blue you have red you have orange you have yellow So go check out banggood.com, see all the options you have for this pack, amazing, amazing 45 liter pack. This is P. Suarez, thanks for watching.